Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Kai on Willie's back here with another video. As you can see by the top of the thumbnail, your boy finally got himself a new bike. The bike I got is a 27.5 Throne Goon XL 2020 edition. Everything on this bike is stocked except for the uh, grips. The seat is stocked, the seat adapter is stocked, the brakes are stocked. They're actually a uh, disc brakes. Um, it comes with uh, fat tires too, which makes it extremely easy to wheelie. The brake lever stocks. The pegs uh, don't come with it. The grip tape doesn't come with it. I sold my uh, downtown Haro and saved up a little money to get this bike. The uh, total of this bike was $937 for me, but you could get it on the website for like $850. I'd recommend it. But yeah, after the, uh, riding this bike for a month, I'm gonna be giving my thoughts and opinions about it. Was it really worth the money or was it not? Before we get into this review, make sure y'all like the video, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Make sure you do all four of those things before we get straight into this review. Without further ado, let's get straight into the review. All right, now, first things first, we're gonna talk about the brakes. These are um, stock brakes, the lever is uh, uh, stocked. And the disc brakes, these are what disc brakes are. They're way better than brake pads in my opinion. Haven't had any problems with them throughout my whole month of uh, riding this bike. These are Tektro Aries uh, disc brakes. The reason I say why our disc brakes are better than brake pads is because uh, my first week of having a downtown uh, Harl, that was the first bike I ever had with uh, brake pads. The uh, brakes, they wouldn't really catch me. The brake pads, they uh, they slide on the rim and they weren't really catching me. It wouldn't even stop the bike. But disc brakes, when I first got this bike and I was willing, these brakes caught me. Unlike my downtown Harl, the brakes wouldn't catch me. The first time I did a wheelie on that, I almost ate crap, bro. But this bike right here, this bike, these disc brakes are good, especially for stock brakes. Like, they're great. The next thing we'll be talking about on this bike is the tires. As you can see, these are uh, 27.5 by uh, three inch tires, and they're uh, fat tires. And since they're fat tires, it makes it easier to like lift up the bike and do wheelies and do other tricks. And um, they could take more too. On my uh, old bike, the Downtown Harrow, the tires, they weren't fat or anything, but um, I got so many flats on that tire just because of like how skinny the tires were. Like they weren't that like strong enough. Like they couldn't take that much dirt. So I had to be careful on which surface I ride on. But since I have a fat tire bike, I could ride on like more surfaces without worrying about getting like a flat or anything. Like I haven't gotten a flat yet and Let's hope it stays that way. All right, now I'm gonna talk about other parts of the bike. Um, the pedals, they're great. They're a bit small. I'm thinking about getting bigger pedals soon, but but they do the job. Uh, the seat, comfortable. Uh, my old downtown Harlem. I just put an old mountain bike seat on that and. It was way uncomfortable, but this seat, I love it. The grips, they come with uh, blue grips, and the blue grips were great, but instead I got a purple, purple grips because I'm trying to uh, customize this bike right now. I'll be doing a video on that soon. And um, the sticker kit, got the throne right there. Got some more stickers right here. Got the throne with Boon XL. And they also have uh, Run the Streets on the forks. Pretty neat. They got Run the Streets under the frame too. They got a black crown over there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, everything on this bike is fantastic. The design is great. The tires are great. Riding it is great. Like the whole bike itself is just perfect. But 
But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for the rest of the video. If you found it helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you're new to the channel. And share this video to someone who's thinking about buying this bike as well. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.